Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RTC TV4. My name is Dakota Hayden, alongside with Blair Zimmerman. How you doing? And we'll be your co-commentators for tonight's varsity girls matchup between the Lady Comets and the West Central... Lady Mar Trojans. The Trojans, West Central Trojans. How can I forget? Not sure. Well, I think we're in for some exciting basketball tonight. Uh, you may be able to see there on your screen that tonight is Armed Services Night. The uh, Lady Trojans in white and camo tonight to honor our men and women in service. You mean the Lady Comets? That's what I meant. Yep, I'm awake. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get all these errors out early, then we'll keep going. Nope, nope. I'm, I'm going to call people by the wrong name. I, uh, I'll comment on the wrong calls on the floor. Of course, of course. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Wait, we'll wait on the name calling to the to the uh, till the boys varsity game later. Tonight, absolutely, so. absolutely. And it, thank you for mentioning that. That tonight we are having a varsity doubleheader, boys and girls. So uh, we'll be seeing the the varsity comments uh, just a few minutes after the conclusion of this game. And I believe that we will be joined once again in the booth by uh, Lady Comments. Coach Don Homick. Should be exciting. So, as always. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we do have just a, a minute or so until tonight's events get started. So I think that we're going to have a quick word from our sponsors, and we will be right back tonight on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And we're back just in time for the Pledge of Allegiance, who's gonna be sang by the Comet's very own Sarah Donaldson, and in honor of, uh, what are we, military? Uh, Armed Forces. Armed Forces Appreciation Night. Night. We got a giant flag out on the field, or court. Anyone that's standing, please give him a round of applause for being here. Oh, oh, <laughs> we're First physical gaffe that we've had in it. Now, if everyone will please rise and reach the National Guard and Bull League and cast the graduate Sarah Donaldson to sing our national anthem.
That that is a large flag. That it, I would like to know what we had that stored up because this is the first I've seen us use a large flag like that. I mean that very nearly covered the entire <laughs> volleyball court. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we should be having our starting lineups coming out very soon. I believe that I saw uh, Sophie Jellison in uniform tonight. I don't know if that's simply because it's a special occasion or if she has been cleared for from injuries. Is, and is that why we haven't seen her nights prior, because of injuries? I had no idea. Yes, she... Uh, I don't remember what her injury was, but yeah, she's been benched for a little while for injuries. All right, so West Central, we've got Clarissa Blackburn. Jillian Hoptley. 31, Shiloh Winsel. 35, wait. 51. <laughs> 51, Cheyenne Jackson. We've got a 35 out there who is not on their roster. Perfect. Absolutely. Maybe she's from junior varsity. Maybe she's a... Ah, yes, Camille Ruthridge. Ruthridge. Interesting. Yes, let's throw a German spelling in for us. <laughs> yes, of course. All right, so we got number three, Aubrey Day. Number 21, Ashley Klein. Number 24, Ali Weezy. Number 25, Brianna Eubenthal. And number 35, Jordan Klingler. So uh, the Lady Comets have been victorious in their last two contests. Hopefully not to jinx it, but let's see if they can three-peat tonight. Right. Let's see if they can get going here to kick things off in this doubleheader against West Central for the Comets. All right. Both teams have taken the court, getting set up for a ball game. Well, it looks like Allie Weezy has something like five or six inches on West Central Center. Let's see if she can uh, use that to her advantage. She's and got she it. does. <laughs> Brianna Hubenthal picking up the dribble early, passing it off to Dag, who sends it back to Hubenthal. With a Weezy to try and put up for two. Klingler nearly over the back on that rebound. West Central did get that rebound. West Central keeping on the outside, trying to find a way in. They get it in to put it up. Out on number 21, Ashlyn Klein there. Clean block though, that was all ball. West Central got to check back into play, keeping at the top. Looking to get something going. Bit slow paced, but trying to find an opening. So, I mean. The Lady Comet's rocking that 2 3 zone. And uh, they tend to be pretty good with that. The Central looking for a drive, put up two. Off the mark, and Jordan Klingler with the rebound. Dag passing over to Hubenthal to get over the line. Went back to Dag. Get some help. Give it back to Hubenthal. Drove down to the baseline, couldn't do anything with it, and passed it straight to a defender trying to get it to Ashton Klein. It's that kind of court awareness that they've really got to watch for. Central popping a three. Off the mark. 
They're able to get on that rebound and put it up for two. Yeah, that them. was at 35, Camille Wuthrich. That's where I'm going with. And West Central starting that full court press early. Harvey Dagg putting up for two. No good, and that's uh, West Central's number 51, Cheyenne Jackson with the rebound. Central trying to get a pass going. A little bit of trouble went right in the hands of Ashlyn Klein. Absolutely. Hubenthal and Degg exchanging a little bit. Hubenthal put up a two. He nails it, ties up that game. That was a long two, one step back and she would have put three on the board. But we'll take it, we'll take Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Central putting up for two. Way long into the arms of Jordan Klingler. I don't even know if that counts as a rebound. Didn't even touch That's the board. Just, yeah. Klein putting up a three. Just off the mark. Klingler with that rebound. Gets knocked out of her hands, but Degg recovers. Over to Hubenthal. She's trying to get something moving. Klein able to save it there. A bit of a mishap on that pass. Klein trying to toss it into Klingler to get up. It's good for two. West Central answering with a two of their own. Back across into the Comets court. Eubenthal trying to make a cross pass over to Wheezy. Couldn't quite get it there. Those baseline passes are not being our friend, ladies' friends tonight. West Central Open popping three. three. Wasn't able to hit it, but she was wide open for that shot. Looks like Eubenthal smartly didn't try to dive for that ball as it went out. Comets regaining possession. Klein. I think she might have been looking for Hubenthal, but I'm not sure what that was, but oh. Wheezy uh looked like she tripped there, but went out off of West Central. Must have been able to bounce it off of the feet of the defender. Hubenthal. Klingler got that rebound under heavy coverage, still managed to get a decent looking shot. And we've got a 30 second timeout over here on the West Central bench. So with that, we'll be back in a moment after a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. As the teams take the floor, we're back. West Central bringing the ball around side to their part of the court. Comets have left number 15 there wide open out on that three point arc. 35 going to drive to put it up. That was a hard foul there, number 25, Brianna Hubenthal. I, mean, I guess not hard, but blatant. And that'll be her first team first. Dubious uh, honor of being the first foul on the board this game. Out on Comets again. 
Klein like nearly got a steal there. She just didn't quite maintain control as she got it out of uh, the West Central lady's hand. And they're just keeping them open on the three-point line. 51 was open there for a shot. She ended up passing it, though. Yeah, that's a... You, when you're playing a zone, you, you, you can't be so married to your box that you'll never go out to challenge. 25 putting up. No good. Rebound there for Ali Weezy. Klein fighting to keep hold of the ball to get into Weezy. Oh, I feel like that should have been a foul. Double dribble there on Ali Weezy. She, she moved to... She picked it up to, to make the shot and then decided she needed to be one step closer. All right, West Central. Looking for a move. 15 open on the three again. The Guessing 11. that she's not a, a confident three-point shooter but she's not taking any of those open shots. Klein getting it over to Dag to drive up the middle to put up for two. Just off the mark. Klingler on the rebound. And that's good. Comets will take the lead now, two point lead. As long as they can play solid defense, then. Those little uh, two point field goals, they'll add up in a hurry. Missing, though, those bad passes by West Central, those, those don't help the cause. Not at all. Klein. Wheezy with the rebound there. Huben throwing out the ball off to the far side. She needs some help. Hopping it up, trying to get to Wheezy, a bit over her head. Yeah, that was, that was some serious trouble that Cuban thought was in there. I don't want to be too critical though because it's obviously a lot easier to see what should happen from 25 feet above the court. Right. Long two there by number 15. Cuban thought just barely saving the ball. She was on her tiptoes out there almost out. Still in West Central possession though. I'm sorry. Day, day getting out there to get get in somebody's face. I'm starting to think just West Central's team in general isn't too confident on the three point line. They've been wide open for several shots from the three point range. And that's uh, West Central's number 15, Jillian Haupley, drawing a foul off of 24. Ali Weezy, that's her first, team second. Shooting foul will send Haupley to the line. First shot's good. Nice bounce. Now if I was shooting that, I would have called that a lucky bounce, but I'd have taken it anyway. All right. Second shot's up. It's off the mark into the waiting arms of number 35. Pass it over to 11 to put up for her two. They make good on missing that one free throw. <coughs> Huben thought trying to get a pass into Klingler. Completely off the mark, out on the Comets. She was carrying way too much momentum and didn't have the control of it. I feel like when you're going that hard with a lane open like that, she should have just went in for the layup. Right? right. At least draw the foul if you can, if you got too much going for you. Absolutely. Ooh, Dave hey. getting in there. Couldn't quite get a hold of it, but she got, she got a hold of that ball. West Central finally trying to pop a three. Off the mark, got their own rebound. And ball was out there on number 35. Camille Wethridge. Wuthridge. That's a W-U-E. That's a Germanic spelling, Wuthridge. Klein getting the ball over to Eubenthal. And just barely. Again, those West Central ladies playing a heavy uh, full court press there. Klein trying to get into Klinger. Out on West Central, mm -hmm. still be Comets ball. 15 seconds left for the first quarter. It's like, 
We've got uh, number 21, Larissa Patton, coming in for Cheyenne Jackson on the West Central side. Dig, trying to send it all the way out to Klein, yeah. way out there. He's across mid. It looked like. Foul number 11 for West Central. That's her first team first. Comments now at 10 seconds. Even thought sending over to Dag. Dag trying to get past the defense. And uh, number 35 was giving her a hug. Oh, close. And couldn't quite get a, two more points back on the or on the board there right at the end of the first. So we go out of the first with West Central leading by one, seven to six here on RTC TV four. We'll be back in just a moment. Thanks for watching. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Welcome back this evening. We're just a few moments away from the teams taking the floor to start the second period. Fairly evenly matched first period, I felt like. We uh, you see the, if you're just joining us, you see the scores seven to six, West Central. Teams are close in fouls, two to one. So we go into the second with Lady Trojans having possession. And we're underway. Central. Trying to get something moving. That's off the number 35, Boothrich, to try and make a drive. Ref's calling it a jump ball. It that, was, that was interesting. That looked like a clean stuff at the top. And nonetheless, Comets possession. Dag into double coverage. Huberthal almost not getting that pass. And drawing the foul there, I believe that was from number 11. Yes. Number 11, that's her second, team second. And that is uh, Clarissa Blackburn. And it looks like she's subbing out number 13, Dakota Jackson in. Ball in play on the Comet side. Fine, getting it into Weezy to put up for the shot. She gets it. Draws the foul. Foul was on 21, Larissa Patton. That's her first. And uh, since the ref blew the whistle on Allie's way up, she did not get the basket. She does, however, get that one. She makes up for it. Comments now take the lead by one. And once again, wide open out on the arc. I have to believe that uh, Coach Helmick in watching film let the Lady Comets know that they can hold their zone and not worry about open three-point shoulders from West Central. Jordan Klingler getting the rebound there. Klein sent it over to Hubenthal. Hubenthal in heavy coverage. And number 35 there gets that pass she attempted. However, wasn't able to make good on that uh, layup. They Keeping it just on the Comets' side. Hubenthal and Klein exchanging passes, trying to get something moving. These Lady Trojans have an aggressive defense. Klingler putting up a quick jumper for two, stretching that lead to three. 
post is where it's at in this game for the Comets. As soon as they can get it past the uh, the outside defenders, they're pretty much good to go so far as so it seems. Absolutely. West Central trying to get something moving. They're gonna pop a three. Off the mark. Ali Weezy with that rebound. Klein sending it over to Klingler. Putting it up for two. Just off the mark. Can't quite get a hold of the rebound. Going back down to Lady Trojans court. Trojans keeping it around the outside. Popping a long two. It's off the mark. Into the waiting arms of Jordan Klingler. Jump ball, and that will be Lady Trojans' possession. And we have uh, Lady Trojans number 51, Cheyenne Jackson, substituting in for 21, Larissa Patton. We got number 25, subbing in for 35. Okay, that's uh, Camille Wuthrich back in for... Wait a minute, we've got Wait. a problem. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> we've been completely wrong. Ms. Ruthrich does play number 35 on the when she plays JV. But she's also number 25 for when she plays varsity. But we have... Or we have a bad typographical error on our roster. Hey, I told you I was going to get names wrong. All right, all right, all right. This could either be our fault or the uh, people who printed out the roster's fault, but we'll we'll take the blame. Yeah, yeah, I've got I've got broad shoulders. I can carry the weight. Yeah, we got it. All right, <laughs> Lady Trojans passing the ball around the arc again. Aubrey Dag stepping out for man-to-man -man coverage. Hopping either long two or three, couldn't quite see the footing. She gets on her own rebound and goes up for the two. We can't get it. Wheezy with the rebound that time. Dag crossing mid. And over to Klein to pop a three. Just off the mark. Looks like we got a West Central timeout. With that, we're gonna take a short little break from our sponsors. You're watching RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All righty, and that full timeout has come to a conclusion. The ladies have taken the floor, and the ball is in play. West Central trying another three, way over. That's going to be a foul there on number 35. We're still not sure who number 35 is. <laughs> wait, wait, that was an Adriana Barlow. We've got this figured out now. We got names, we're and, good. And, and it was a typo on the roster. I feel vindicated. Same. But that's all right, that's all right. We got to figure it out. Although I was saying Wuthrich the whole time, so maybe I'm not vindicated. True. Regardless, ball back in play for the Lady Trojans. Trojans popping another three. Off the mark. He's able to try and put up for a two. They draw the foul. And that foul was on Aubrey Degg. That's her first, team third. 
Now we got number 35, Barlow, up for the two shots. First shot's off the rim. And we have number 15, Will Jillian Hapley, subbing in for number 13, Dakota Jackson. Second shot's up, and it's good. Klein getting the ball in play to Hubenthal. Trojan's aggressive on the full court press. Yeah, number 15 there, Jillian Hapley. First play back in, and she's already fouled. <laughs> That's her first team fifth. Very close to starting to send the Lady Trojans to the line for shots. Or, like, Lady Comets. Comets. Yep. Klein giving it back to Hubenthal. She thought about popping it. Klein put up for three. And it's good. Nice. It's a Lady Comets three ball. Jordan Jackson with a drive. Sends it back out to the three point line. And that pass over to Halpley was good from the post. Dag went up for two. Shot don't count. She traveled. They only give you any generosity with those steps if you're going in for a layup. Right. Or a dunk. Man, I would pay money to watch Aubrey Dag dunk it. <laughs> that That'd would be, be the best. That would be incredible. I'm going to get in trouble. I just told a short joke on there. No, nah, it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> All right. Once again, the Lady Comet's not doing great job talking on the floor. Not able to get on the rebound. Klein throwing to Hubenthal's back. She was able to turn around just in time to get it. And what, the, was, what? <laughs> what was that? It made it. It's points. It's points. Whatever it was, it, it worked. Number 15 there, stepping in for a shot. It was off the mark. And it looks like the ball went out off Robert Degg as she pancaked to the court. Ball back in play for the Lady Trojans. About throwing up a three. Klein was able to get a hand in there. Yeah, they didn't call it clean, though. So that was a foul there on Ashley Klein. Her first, team fourth. Central checking it in. Popping another three. Off the front of the rim and Klingler with the rebound. Wow. That foul there was on number 11, Clarissa Blackburn. That's her third, team six. Subs, we got 13 coming in for number 11, I'm sure. And she's already at three fouls for the game here with two minutes left in the half. Ooh, Ooh. they're gonna call that a foul. <laughs> foul was on number 13, Dakota Jackson. Once again, first play <laughs> in the game, and we're gonna foul. And that sends Hubenthal to the line. I believe that'll be one and one. Shots up. It's That's good. Good. She'll get a second attempt. And I just realized the Lady Comets are still playing their starting lineup, too. Mm -hmm. Second shot's off the mark. A bit short. And the Lady Trojans back in their court. Open drive to just jump up for a two. <laughs> Wow, these, these refs are not playing around. They're just calling fouls. Foul there was on number 25, Brianna Hubenthal. That's her second. And that was a shooting foul. 
Barlow's first shot, in and out. Just off the back of the rim. Second shot's up, and it's off the front of the rim. Allie Weezy gets that rebound. Gets a clean pass over to Klein. As the Lady Trojans actually don't push a full court press this play. Klein lobbing it over to Huben, throwing over to Degg. Trying to find some open room. What was that? That's an open drive. Ooh. Whoa. Who was that on? Dag, oh. maybe? Nope. <laughs> that was Hubenthal. That's her third. Imagine this may be a substitution. Yes, as Lane Oliver goes in for Brandy Hubenthal. In the next foul on the Lady Comets, we'll start sending the Lady Trojans to the line. Lady Trojans. Set and open with the three. 31's gonna pop a three. It's off the mark. Easy. Allie Weezy with a no contest rebound there. 60 seconds left here in this half as the Lady Comets lead 16 to 10. Dang. Ooh, she panicked in backcourt violation. I think Coach Helmick was telling him to just kind of slow it down there. Yeah, that got a fairly healthy lead with 48 seconds. Spontaneous and double co coverage just kind of set into a panic. Now, honestly, if I remember correctly, the next jump ball is Comet's possession. And she would have been smart to just hold her right there in the breadbasket. But anyway, that attempted jumper was really short into the waiting arms of Jordan Klingler. Egg now back with it over to the Comets side of the court. The Comets do seem to be slowing it down a little bit here. I'm really surprised that Klein didn't get call on travel with that one, I'm gonna be honest. Klein I think she got away with a freebie. She did draw the foul, she's going to the line for two. That was on 15, Jillian Hapley. That's her second, and it's the team's eighth. First shot's up. Lucky bounce and we'll take it. Ball looked like it was trying to escape orbit there for a second. Absolutely. <clears throat> second shot's up. It's good. Another two points for the Comets, putting them in the lead, 18 to 10. And we have number 14, Brianna Young, substituting in for 21, Ashton, Ashley Klein. Ashton, Ash nope. Lady Trojans putting up a jumper. That was good. Look at the jumper. Sounded like the Comet student section was trying to psych them out and it worked against us. Regardless, the ladies take to the locker rooms at halftime here with the Lady Comets leading 18 to 12 tonight here on RTC TV 4. Please stay tuned. We'll check out the second half of this contest. Just about 10 minutes. Thank you for watching. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And with uh, 19, 18 seconds, I'm not going to try to count it down. Halftime will be <laughs> over and the ladies will be taking the hardwood again. 
Matter of fact, it looks like they've beat me to the punch. Well, we'll get this second half underway here in just three seconds. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, you missed an evenly matched first half. The uh, Lady Comets managed to take just a little bit more of that evenness, though. So, so well, maybe that wasn't quite even. <laughs> well, it's close. Yeah. It's, it's close. Uh, six point ball game here tonight as uh, the Lady Comets will start the second half with possession. And here we go. Dag and Klein. Go back and forth. Klein looking to drive in, go up for a shot. I believe that was there was double dribble there. I think she put both hands on the ball and then put one more dribble before she tried to drive. Can't do that. Nope. Trojans now. Trying to drive in a little bit. Open threes all across the board. That's okay. We're gonna drive in. Hanging around base. Looking for a pass, wasn't there. Travel though. Wasn't sure if that was travel or out of balance. She was right there. Lady Trojans are gonna start off the second half with their full court press. Full action. Yikes. Boy, not just out of bounds. They are <laughs> out in the lobby right now. She's lucky she went. She got through the door and didn't hit that post. That wouldn't have been too good. Climb Whoa. all the way over to Hubenthal. Drawing the foul there. We'll see who that was on. Foul was on number 15, Jillian Hauptley. That's her third, team first in the half. Time of ball. Fine, getting into Weezy to put up for two. It's good, those short little jumpers. Those have been our bread and butter tonight. Trojans, oh, she thought about it. She did. She's like, basket's right there, there's nobody in front of me. Nah, we'll <laughs> pass it. Looks like the uh, Lady Comets are doing a modified zone this half. They're getting a little bit more out man to man. And that pass was intercepted there by Jordan Klingler. Lady Comets are going to come down and see if they can do some business with it. And no, they can't. They're losing control of the dag right on it. Boy, was she able to plant. She was not, so that's a foul on number three. Aubrey Dagg, that's only her second. She's been really aggressive this game to only have two fouls. Trojans, there's a three. Off the mark and over to Weezy. Ali Weezy. No, I was <laughs> looking at looking at somebody about losing their head out there. These lady Trojans are aggressive. Long two by Hubenthal. Not quite on the mark. Lady Trojans get the rebound. Trojans. I mean, I'm seeing lowered shoulders on the drive and everything. This is an aggressive team. Short two and it's good. Nice bounce on the rim. Hubenthal <laughs> just slowed herself down to a stop, travel. Couldn't decide just, what she was wanting to do. Just took her about four steps to come to a stop, unfortunately. <laughs> West Central with a nice oh, drive. Ooh. In and out on that layup. Robbed. Day getting over to climb. Klein trying to get into Weezy, put up for two. No competition in post. No competition. Nope. All Weezy. And it looks like we've got a 30-second timeout over here for the Comets. So we will be back in 30 seconds after a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. 
Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, the ladies are taking the hardwood and we're back. And in case you weren't able to hear the announcer in the background, uh, Lady Comet wrestler Destiny McDaniel is state bound later this week after placing fourth in the semi-state competition. Impressive. Absolutely. She was a member of the largest weight class for the lady wrestlers that evening. So hmm. she placed fourth out of, I believe they said 16. Wow. And in the midst of that, we missed a turnover here. I don't know if Aubrey Degg had traveled or managed to knock it out of bounds. Comets fans were not happy with that call. Trojans going for the drive to lob up for two. Wild throw up there for two. They got on the rebound, still can't hit it. There we go, and the Lady Comets got a rebound. Ali Weezy couldn't quite take control of those rebounds. And uh, we went out down here on the Lady Comets court off of, I believe it was Brianna Hubenthal. Lady Trojans regained possession. Trojans looking for the drive. Hubenthal had been to try and get and intercept that pass. Ends up knocking it out herself. On the hand, on the other hand, it's a, it's a good time for the Lady Comets to just kind of slow things down. Long two there from number 51, Cheyenne Jackson. Uh, she wasn't able to get that, and then I believe it was Jordan Klingler came down with the rebound, got fell. Called for a travel. Turns out if you're on your feet or sliding on your butt, you still have to dribble <laughs> the ball. Long two, no good. Oh Lady my. Trojans with their own rebound. Times three. Brianna Hubenthal going over the back for a block. No good, it's a shooting shooting violation there. So she'll send uh, number, number 11. 11. Put us a Blackburn to the line. That was also Brianna Hubenthal's fourth foul. Foul trouble territory for Hubenthal. First shot was good. It looks like we're going to have uh, Lane Oliver substituting in for Brianna Hubenthal. Second shot's up, off the mark. And that was a mess. Allie Weezy trying to get the rebound, couldn't quite do it. Egg need help. Oliver. Grief. Oliver with a travel. I feel like there might have been a foul or two in the midst of that, but. Might have, but whatever the ref calls is what goes. Day to bosses. All right, Lady Trojans back down in their court. 342 remaining in the third. Lady Comets still holding on to a five point lead. Wild pass by the Trojans. Bouncing off of one of our cheerleaders off out of bounds. The refs won't call it out off a cheerleader though. No, so we're good, we're good. That would change the dynamic of the game. <laughs> If it hits any fan of either side, it's out on that team. All right. 
Lady Comets trying to get it down towards the post, and they do. Jordan Kramer for two. Lady Trojans passing it around, looking for an opportunity. I see many, but we don't shoot threes here on West Central. But I mean, hey, you do what you're strong with. If you can't shoot threes, don't what, do it. What? And we had a uh, an illegal screen called on 51, Cheyenne Jackson. That's her first. Team second in the half, and Lady Comets, or team third in the half, Lady Comets possession. Lady Trojans not playing full court press, but they were waiting right at the half court line. Klein trying to get a pass into Klingler, couldn't quite get it. West Central is on the interception, bringing it back to their side. <clears throat> These West Central ladies are just playing so aggressively that, that the Lady Comets, that they have to watch bad passes. Puts it up for two and it's good. That was, I believe, number 11, Clarissa Blackburn. Ashley Klein on the drive. Double coverage, getting it out to Dag. Dag into the paint to Klingler. It's good for two. You're absolutely right. The post has been the magical position tonight for the Lady Comets. In fact, besides a three by Klein, I think Ali Weezy and Jordan Klingler have been the only ones to shoot the points for the Comets tonight. Wherever they come from, actually putting up a three, and it's good. Whoa. Number 11, Clarissa Blackburn with the first three-pointer for the Lady, uh, Lady Trojans tonight. And uh, that full court press has been successful. However, Klein trying to block a free throw. Got a foul call on her and she sent Clarissa Blackburn back to the line for two. That was Klein's second foul for the game. First shot is off the mark. Second shot's up, and it's good. West, West Central has now closed that Comets lead to three points. Dag back to Oliver. Oliver trying to get into Weezy. She gets it. And it's good. Just fingertipping that ball. Too close for comfort there, too close for comfort. The Lady Comets really need to slow the game down. They do, they got a nice, you know, five point gap, some breathing room there to keep it slow. I'm certainly not suggesting that they just hang on to the ball for the last, you know, nine minutes of the game. Right, but. But definitely. At least be smart with it. Yep, and that was out of bounds there on number 15, Jillian Hapley. Lady Calum is trying to decide who's gonna inbound the ball. Ball's in decline, who's gonna pop a three, and it's she on the money. Three. Stretching that lead out, nice. A central popping a long two. It's good. Well, if we can just take the rest of this game, trading twos for threes, Klein in double coverage. Over to Oliver, who's gonna get into the Comets court. Gotta get over to Dig. Heavy coverage. We had that, I believe that was number 35, Adriana Barlow. We'll see here. Uh, fouled Aubrey Degg. Waiting for confirmation on that foul. Oh, they're calling that on 15, Jillian Hapley. You got subs for the Trojans. That's her fourth. Lady Trojans, number 13 and number 31 coming in for 15 and... 51. 51. <clears throat> Excuse me. Klein trying to get a pass over to Klingler. Got intercepted. West Central ball again. Once again, they, they just... Oh, we're putting up a three off the mark. Lady Trojans with that rebound. Another three. They're 
starting to get risky, and they got those open three shots to go for it. Dag. Dag on the drive, draws the foul. Foul there was on number 21, Larissa Patton. That's her second. Klein with another good three. Stretching that lead out. She's on fire for those threes tonight. Awesome. West Central passing around the three point line, not risking another one. Klein knocking it out of bounds, slowing down the play. 11 seconds left in the third period. Might as well reduce the odds of them putting up a shot. Or at least force them to keep shooting those low percentage three pointers. Like that one. Off the mark, Aubrey Degg with the rebound. Five seconds, and put it up. And they're calling that a foul. She wasn't able to start getting that vertical momentum going though, so it wasn't a shooting foul. The foul there was on number 31, Shiloh Wenzel. That's her first. Team fifth in the half. They're very close to putting the comment, lady comments on the line for bonus points. Aubrey. She popped a three, but it was right at the buzzer. All right, well, that was an exciting third period. Lady Comets lead by nine. We'll be back to see how the conclusion of this game after a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Well, we're back here tonight as the coaches talk fourth quarter strategy on the sidelines here. If you're just joining us, you've missed an exciting half of basketball so far. Uh, saw both teams put quite a few points on the board. And Lady Comets maintaining a nine point lead going into the last eight minutes of play tonight. Very aggressive Lady Trojans team tonight, Dakota. Oh yeah. Um, Starting off early with that full court press and then just after that, their defense, they've been doing double coverage whenever they can get it. Absolutely. The Lady Comets staying in their 2-3 zone. It's been pretty effective because we've seen these Lady Trojans are fairly low percentage from that three point line. So if the Lady Comets can keep them out of the out of the lanes and paint in the post, I think. Well, three-pointers up and it's off the mark. Jordan Klingler with the rebound. To Dag to cross the line. And over to Klein. Double coverage. There's that heavy defense. Had a trip there, I believe that was number 35. That was, that's at Adriana Barlow. That's her second, team sixth. Next Lady Trojans foul will put a Lady Common on the line. Klein getting secure on the ball, put up for two. Off the mark, and Lady Trojans with the rebound. Lady Trojans passing around the three-point arc, looking for their inside play. Gonna pop up a two. Off the mark, Ali Weezy couldn't quite command that rebound. 
Felt like that should have been a jump ball, but we had a foul called. Foul was on Adriana Barlow. That's her third, team seventh. We're sending a lady comment to the line, but I did not see that play. We got Jordan Klingler. We got number 31 coming in for 13 for the Lady Trojans. Shots up. It's off the mark. Lady Trojans get the rebound there. They can run with it. We're going to drive in, send it back out. Down to the post. She was behind the backboard and managed to draw the foul there off of uh, 35 there, Jordan Klingler. That is her first here. Larissa Patton going to the line for two. First shot's good. Second shot just off the front of the rim. They're able to get on their rebound. Allie Weezy there recognizing that she was in a, at a high risk for drawing, for giving a foul. Baseline shot there by number 51, Cheyenne Jackson. Puts two on the board for the Lady Trojans. Oliver and Klein are trying to get find an opening. Get past this press. Oh. That foul is going to be on uh, number five there. She was trying to wrap it up for a jump ball and just the Lady Trojan uh, turned around and got, got Lane all wrapped around her. Anyway, we've had a foul called on the floor. So we're going to take this moment for a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Taking the floor after that timeout. The lady comments have to be really careful about those senseless fouls, though. Um, it's a good way to whittle down your own lead, uh, just turning the ball over or sending a shooter to the line. Lady Trojans find an opening lane to drive. Weezy getting a hold of the ball, going over to Dag. It looks like Lady Trojans have stopped the full court press. Klein with a three just off the mark. And uh, Shiloh Winslow there with the rebound. Couldn't quite get that layup. We've got a foul called down here on the rebound attempt. Foul was on 31. Shiloh Winslow, that's her second, team eighth. That'll be sending... Somebody, I don't know who it was. Aha, Ashlyn Klein. Sending Ashlyn Klein to the line for two. I feel like a lot of other officials would have called a couple of these fouls jump balls. Uh, probably. Shots up and it's good. She'll get a second. Second shot's up, yeah, and it's on the mark, good. too. That'll be all right. Keep stretching out that lead. Taking the Lady Comets back to an eight-point lead. 
Lady Trojans driving in. Long two. And Shahan Jackson with that long two, that's good. Lady Trojans back to a full court press. Hey. Aubrey Day driving it in. Sends it into Klingler who takes a shot and draws the foul. I didn't see. Foul was on 21. Larissa Patton. Put Klingler on the line. First shot's up, it's off the mark. Frustration there on the face of Jordan Klingler. Looks like we have Jillian Happily back in and Klingler's second shot is good. I was that low percentage free throw shooter in high school, so I understand the frustration of getting put there. And yeah, long the two shots. off the mark off the head of the attempted rebounder. Jillian Hapley was able to put it in for two. Oh, Whoa. ooh, that was ugly. Foul there was on number 11, Clarissa Blackburn. That's her fourth. She's in foul trouble and Aubrey Day going to the line, probably seeing double or some stars or something. It's a rough hit, but she's got two shots here. In and out. Robbed. She probably feels though she like she got kicked in the head by a mule. <laughs> Straight into the shoulder there, of course, of Blackburn. Second shot. Off Still the front of the rim. Klingler struggling to get that rebound and couldn't quite do it. Lady Comet still with a five point lead with 441 remaining. Lady Trojans popping a three. Off the mark and out of bounds. Smart play there by Klein and Oliver not going after that rebound. Oliver looking for someone open, gets it over to Klein. Klein trying to get over to Weezy, pass just a bit too over. <laughs> Energetic. Lady Comets, again, need to just slow it down and not panic about this full court press. They're, they're in a position of strength right now. Lady Trojans. Looking to do something with it. Again, not really, not really taking those long shots. Driving in to put up for two. It's no good. And Dag is the one who finally got, a, got control of that rebound. Looking for help, sends it to Klein. Klein trying to get it in to Klingler. Didn't quite get it, gets intercepted by the defender. West Central now. Popping up for two. Off the mark. 35 there, uh, Adriana Barlow was able to save it and get it back in. Coach Don Helmick not happy with the ref's decision to give that out of bounds back to West Central. Long inbound. Three. And it's good. Brings this down to a two point game. A low percentage, they're sure pulling it in the oh. clutch. Bad pass, Dag able to recover on it though. Weezy with the ball. Trying oh, to get it back out to Bad passes, Klein. and this is now a single possession ball game. Oh no. That this would be a heartbreak. Fortunately, the, the Lady Trojans are just as panicked to make the play as the Lady Comets are to not let them make that play. Lady Trojans still at the full court press. Klein, going to get over to Hubenthal, ends up sending no it out. No good, and gives it to the Lady Trojans in their own court. Three minutes and 11 seconds remaining. It's too bad that uh, basketball you can't do kind of like the QB sneak where the person who's inbounding it can, can just, just bring it in. <laughs> All right, anyway, timeout called on the floor. Lady Trojans 
So we have 30 seconds. We'll be back. Stay tuned after this word from our sponsors here on RTC TV. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. So. All right, we're back. Some words of wisdom there from the coaches. As the Lady Trojans try to make up this two-point deficit now. A pop and a three. Off the mark. Gonna Trojans. drive in now. All they need is a two point. Get it tied up. We got it in. Oh, wow. And it's good. We're tied ball game now. The Lady Comets have got to play some smart ball and get this lead back up there. Eubenthal. Trying to go oh. all the way with it. Well, that's gonna be a foul there on probably 51. You're going to send, uh, oh no, excuse me, number 15, Jillian Halfley. She is fouled out of the game tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And they're sending in number 21, Lil uh, Larissa Patton. All right. Brianna Huventhal for two. Let's see if she can uh, get the Lady Comets back in the lead. Shots up, off the mark. Freshman in a high pressure situation here, Dakota. Second yeah, chance just all the way off the mark. Can't be good for the nerves for sure. And that went out of bounds on Ali Weezy. Imagine there's uh, quite a bit of nerves on both benches right now. Ooh, sure. Huventhal getting in for the steal. Let's She's see if going. she gets out of bounds. Out of bounds there on 31. Shiloh Winsel, good play on Winsel's part. Breaking that drive. Lady Comets need to send somebody out. Okay, getting over to Huventhal, out for a long two. Off the mark, and the Lady Trojans with the rebound here. Lady Comets need to get inside and play some smart defense. And this Trojans. Klingler, or uh, Klein. Couldn't quite get a hold of that rebound. Tried to save it, no one there to take it though. Two minutes left, tied ball game. Lady Trojans gonna throw up a three. Oh. In and out, got their own rebound, no good at the post. Ref calling it a foul. I feel like that was a clean block. I feel like it too, but. That foul was on Ash Ashlyn Kleins. Her third. Her first shots. shot's off. Cowboys need to get on this rebound as soon as it drops. Second shot's no good. Klein getting the rebound. Heavy coverage out of 
bounds on Ashton Klein. Ball in play. Kasten needs just one good play here. One good play, 90 seconds left on the clock. Tied up at 37. The Trojans at the base. And they definitely need to not send anybody to the line. Long, long shot by Lady Trojans, it's no good. Fine getting the rebound. Uh, and drawing the foul from number 15, uh, 35, Adriana Barlow. Klein's going to the line here. She's got two shots, not to apply any pressure to already pressured nerves, but there's, you know, your tied game, a lot of pressure. One would think that a uh, senior's gonna do it. Yep. 78 seconds left. Lady Comments now with a one point lead. Make it two. Two point lead. And Coach Don Helmick calling a full timeout before the Lady Trojans take possession. Well, we'll be back for the conclusion of this here on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Welcome back. 1.15 left on the clock. Lady Trojans trying to make something happen here. Trying to go for the layup, couldn't get it. Struggle with the ball. There's a jump, jump ball. ball. Comets. Comets ball. Klein. There's someone. Looked like we had a... Uh, <laughs> Coach Helmick, clone of timeout here. I think we'll stay with the action. Yeah. This is uh, this has just been something. This second half has really been exciting ball, Dakota. Absolutely, I agree, 100 percent. All intensity, only a two-point lead for the Comets. Helmick not wanting to make any mistakes with a minute six left, calling that timeout. I imagine giving some word of wisdom to to prevent the ladies from panicking in the face of this full court press. Obviously. Klein, the Cuban thought across the mid. Obviously the Lady Trojans are desperate to make this up. Oh, Klein trying to get it into Klingler. Trying to stretch that lead and it gets intercepted. 53 seconds left. Lady Trojans going to tie things up, going up for two. No good, but she draws the foul. Foul was on 35, Jordan Klingler. Sending Cheyenne Jackson to the line. First shot's up, and it's good. Had a lucky bounce off the back of the rim. One point lead here. Number 13, Dakota Jackson coming in for Larissa Patton with 45 seconds left on the clock. Cheyenne Jackson looking to tie it up here. And she does. Does it. Lady Comets are now going to be in a panic. Huventhal robbing over to Klein. 39 seconds. Now they, they need to put another basket on the board, but they also need to make sure not to give the Trojans time to answer. 
tough spot to be in to have the ball game tied up with 26 seconds remaining. Huventhal, back oh. for a violation. If Comets can hold the Lady Trojans back, we could go into overtime, but. Timeout called on the Trojans bench. They've called a full timeout, so we're going to take a quick commercial break here on RTC TV 4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right. Well, the Lady Comets have taken the floor. Coach Helmick has said what he needed to say already. We've got a little bit longer left in this timeout. We're at 39 all. Any foul is a shooting foul at this point. 20 seconds left in the ball game. Lady Trojans possession. Uh, this, this can go either way or into overtime right now, Dakota. Yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat. Lady Comets basketball will sell you the whole seat, but you <laughs> only need the edge. <laughs> All Lady right. Trojans. They got 10 seconds. They'll pop a three. Oh, oh three. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh. We've had a full timeout called on the floor. I'm sick in my stomach. I'm going to take the next few, the next 60 seconds to uh, get my stomach settled. Two and a half seconds. I, all right, we're back, Dakota. I don't know what Coach Helmick was said down there in that huddle, but two and a half seconds. Uh, we were talking off the air, and, and I feel like I've got to say it again. The ideal situation would be a drive to a good layup, drawing a foul, and making... Would be good, but I, I. Huventhal lobbing it over to Klein. Another full timeout called by Lady Comets. Coach Helmet got it over the line, so we're going to take that ball out of the half court line. And uh, we'll see if it works out for him after this word. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. wasn't the blowout we saw with the boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back as Coach Homick finishes up his huddle with the ladies. He's got a grim look on his face, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like the looks of it. Oh, Ali Weezy taking it out of bounds. Definitely, definitely they've changed up strategies. 
1.9 seconds. Hubenthal. Oh, she gets blocked on the three-point line. And the Lady Comets fall to the Lady Trojans, 39 to 42. We've had no one of action in this second half, but a heartbreaker nonetheless, Dakota. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I've, I've, I've done here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been with us for the whole game, we thank you. If you're just joining us, we thank you for your patronage. We're going to take a little bit of a break here, and uh, we want you to join us here in, in about 20 minutes as we uh, watch the Varsity Trojans and at the Varsity Comets here tonight, and hopefully we have a better result from that game. This will be a good one. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Blair Zimmerman. Been yeah. joined here in the booth with Dakota Hayden. It's been a pleasure, everyone. And uh, we want you to come right back here in about 20 minutes and watch the Comets here at the Curator. Thanks for joining us tonight here on RTC TV.